Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video I'm going to kind of break down a little bit the post-release of Timmy and Mousy as well as give away a code for some extra in-game stuff if you actually have it. So it's been out a couple of days now and there are a few things that I want to talk about with this because I'm not sure whether people have missed it, people have found little things, people have gotten really good at this, and why it's so linked to my channel and the development of the tutorials I do. So the whole idea of Timmy and Mousy is to show what you can actually do in Unity just following my tutorials because everything I do here can be learned one way or another in my tutorials. So I'm going to discuss a couple of things which people may have missed uh, which you may think is kind of cool and yeah just generally go through a few things here so we can see right here the title screen if you've played this the first time you started off you only saw Mousy and Timmy in the desert in the store there are things to unlock we've got the characters Doozy moves side to side quicker so I know a lot of the criticism was that uh, the movement side to side in this was very slow but that was a design choice the reason it was a design choice is simply because I want you to be able to pick up the game and not instantly be able to play it as you normally would any game you I wanted you to learn the game to get more acquainted with it so by the time you got to doozy and found him moving side to side quicker it just felt so much better Claire can fit through much tighter gaps so a good example of that is in uh, Treacle Town there are some cars quite close together the other characters cannot fit through some of these gaps with the cars but Claire can makes it much easier the boss his idea was he will not lose a life 40% of the time which kind of helps in some way but the idea of getting those 125 gems just to get him seems a bit excessive but again that was a design choice to kind of throw you off the stages are pretty self-explanatory to be honest um, I know there's a vast difference between 15 and 150 I suppose in some ways it's artificially extending the life of this game but hey I kind of like the levels I like building this game so yeah extra lives extra gems obviously they're self-explanatory as well um, I do have on itch.io the ability to unlock all of this um, for a small price, but you also get the soundtrack with that. I'll explain the soundtrack in a second. Or you can buy the entire source code to all of this. So when I say source code, you get everything that I've written, all the code. It, obviously, you, you pay a small price for that because that's a lot of hard work that's gone into it. No developer would willingly give away a lot of that source code. But you also get a lot of extra things with that source code for free. So the sound the audio okay so I'm gonna to go to like here. now the audio I got a lot of feedback during the testing stages by many many people saying that the audio was good the sound was good the music was good which kind of threw me off because a lot of this I either threw together quickly and built up a little bit in FL studio or it's something I created a long time ago and people actually kind of like it so I thought okay well I could use that as a good way of people trying to support me as a developer so it's available if you want it so obviously a lot of this is all linked together and you know each of these stages can be gotten back and forth and a controller works for this Xbox controller does work PlayStation controller does work fully linked it's all good and I think some people may have missed that this whole selection is all on one scene as well so Although we're down here at the selector runner, all of those levels do still exist up above. And I don't think we're going to get it this time, um, but you do get little rewards sometimes after running levels or stages. So I'm just going to run straight into this. And do we get it? We don't. So. Again, there's a design choice by where uh, at the end of some runs you get a lucky reward. Right? You get some gems or you get some coins which help you along through the game. Another design choice is this main menu once again. You can see that we have completely changed. We were on the snowy one, the icy issues. Every time you play a stage and come back to the main menu, this is dynamic and changes constantly. So however many characters you've got open, you have them whatever stage you just played that's the background so again 
I think it's more of a design choice to kind of show what can be done in Unity and it all comes back to my tutorials. I spent a lot of time building and creating this specific game to encompass as many items of my tutorials as possible. The achievements are something I do quite like as I know there are a lot of people out there who do hunt achievements and love trying to get achievements. I try to make these not easy but not difficult obtainable I would say is the word and a couple of things about this um, I will mention one or two things you, a lot of people may have noticed already almost all these achievements are references to something cultural um, in pop culture I would say um, I'll try and give some kind of example from A to Z or A to Z uh, around the feisty forest so A to Z Amazon. Okay, so if anyone doesn't know that Amazon, Amazon is a forest, so that is an Amazon reference, i.e. forest. A lot of things are far out that most people probably would never get there. I mean, for example, Iced, obviously that is a reference to um, the NFL or American football or football, depending on where you come from in the world. Um, and you, you'll probably get other things like All Out Life, that is actually a song title from a band called Slipknot, believe it or not. So, yeah, it's just one of the little things I want to throw in, see if anybody gets references or anything like that. So, another thing that I was quite keen to put in this is um, these little codes here. And I do give codes to people on Patreon or YouTube memberships uh, as a little bonus, but I'm going to give you guys a little code now that you can use to get an extra thousand coins in this game. So obviously you don't need to pay for any of this. This game is completely free. You need to pay. So, you know, why not enter the code? So the code is JV37 extra 1000 C. And you'll see that that lights up. Now you can only redeem these codes once. Uh, so it doesn't matter when you see this or as long as you've never used this code before you can use it once. Everybody can use this code. This code is built into the game for you to be able to redeem. So we'll see this go to 2,220, uh, sorry, <laughs> 2,266 coins. And also you can spend them on anything uh, in the store, obviously probably lives or gems. And the gems by the stages and runners. So like I said, a lot of this really comes down to the things I have done on my channel. And I know a lot of people follow what I do on the channel and they, they kind of like what I do. So I figured creating a real extensive game would be something to show off and give you inspiration what you can build in this game. Obviously there are a couple of bugs here and there um, but it, there's nothing game breaking. I, I know they do exist, but they exist in almost every game. So what I would recommend is if you want to try this and perhaps try something yourself in Timmy and Mousy, and if you want to know how anything in this game was created, leave a comment. So for example, if you want to know how I did this controller support option, changing these, let me know. If you want to know how I did this bonus game, let me know. achievement for me. I've mentioned it before during the devlogs of this. This is inspired by Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, strangely enough. So yeah, let me know anything you want to know in the comments and I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, there are still some hidden things in this game that I don't think anybody has actually found yet. Uh, I'm not going to give them away because they are a little surprised when you do find them. There are some people that have gotten really good at this game and I did not expect people to be that good at this game so quickly. So I am quite impressed by that. So if you want to have a go at this game um, and just try and you know, learn some of these things, do different things, you, know, you, you want to see how it's done, pick up the game and try and get as far as you can. Um, it's actually quite addictive and I'm not just saying that because I made the game. Um, you'll find that a lot of people have played this game for many, many hours, and that's something which doesn't really happen too much on Ichio. You'll find that a lot of games on Ichio are shorter games, and people probably spend 
maybe 10, 20 minutes at the most on them. Um, you'll probably find that a lot if you watch the gameplays I have on my channel because I do try and play as many as I can. Oh, also that's dynamic as well. So obviously if you've got control support, it changes what the controls are there for you as well. So a lot of games are quite short on each year. Whereas this one is designed to last a long time and also constantly change what the game is offering at the same time. That's why it lasts a long time. So yeah, I, I really implore you to have a go at this. Uh, a link is in the description if you want to have a go. And obviously you've got that code now for some extra coins to get some extra gems. You can probably instantly unlock um, icy issues with that code to be honest because that thousand gems will give you, uh, sorry, the thousand coins will give you 16 gems straight away so you can unlock icy issues straight away. So yeah, give it a go guys. If you want to know anything, please let me know in the comments. I may do more videos on this trying to, if, if people want to know how things are done in the game, I may do a video compiling everything of how it's done um, just because. So yeah, that is why Timmy and Mousy is so intricately linked to what I do on my channel. A lot of people say, you know, stick to your tutorials, Jimmy. Well, in actual fact, this is a tutorial because this is showing you the end result of what you can create with my tutorials. And honestly, I'd love to see someone give this a go to try and create something because I love seeing what you guys create. So, like I say, give Timmy and Mousy a go, guys. I know I've babbled on for a good 10, 11, 12 minutes now, and I apologize. All you're probably here for is the code, I don't know. <laughs> but I hope you've learned something. Um, give my tutorials a go, and if you want to know, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching.